Kent Pugin here to do another video and it is pretty much the end of 2022. So these years always come and go and we're always hoping next year is better. So us, our goal is to lose weight. Others is to save up a lot of money. But many of us, we just don't sit to it. So what are my goals for this new year? My goals is pretty much to get my channel to the point where it can be monetized. So that is my goal for 2023. I mean, I don't quite have control over that. People have to describe to my channel and the courts that watch the videos for me to get that 4,000 watch hours and uh, 1,000 subscribers. So I got 560 subscribers right now. So that means what I need right now is 440 more subscribers. So I believe I'll get there at some point. Now it was wash up time hours. <laughs> Last time I checked it was like 240. So I need 37, over 3,700 watch time hours. And honestly, I get those watch time hours whenever I get views. So that's how that works. So that is pretty much one go I don't quite have control over, but I, I have influence over. I say it depends on how good my videos are. So that's the goal with my channel. My Rice Force channel, I just keep doing what I've been doing, spreading the word of God. So I pretty much make videos on that channel. If, if somebody ever wants me to go over a topic, or if I feel like God wants me do a video over a certain topic. Then I'll do a video on that channel. And my third channel. I don't know if I'm going to keep my third channel. It's pretty much story recap. Talk about pretty much story I wrote. The reason I made that the perfect for that channel was to get people to read my books. My ebook. So I haven't really been pushing that channel too hard recently. <laughs> So I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of the channel. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Or I could try to turn it into a cooking channel. That's one. So that one, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I'll just keep it to the side for now. And I do got a, a ebook I plan on publishing. It pretty much talks about my actual life. So I'm working on that one. I'm just going over it. Just doing some editing. Then of course I'm going to send it to my editor. On Fiverr. Then I'll publish it. After I read it again. So that's how that works with that one. So was there's something else I want to talk about. Was there? Oh yeah. I'm going to do it this time. I always say I'm going to go on like a vacation and also film myself go, going on vacation. I never do it. But now I have like what? Nearly $700 I saved from Uber Eats. Because I've been using Uber Eats to pretty much sit towards a vacation. I'm basically taking out 25% of my earnings and putting it towards this vacation. It's pretty much a bank account. I've been using it for vacation. And that is aspiration. So I've been using it for vacation pretty much. And I'm getting close to that 700. I think I got like what? $674. So I'm thinking about going to Colorado. <laughs> kind of want to go to like one of those skating resorts. Play in the snow. Because I haven't seen the snow in like forever. So I may, there may be some other things I do on this trip. I'm, who know? I may collaborate 
collaborate with a YouTuber. I was going to do it earlier this year. But I can never get the YouTuber to get back with me. Then there was another YouTuber that did collaborate with, with him. And I did talk about this earlier. I don't I don't say these people names. Because <laughs> who knows? I might want to surprise you. But one of them, they didn't respond to the emails. But then the other one actually did. And they, just pre they pretty much said they were out for a while. So who knows? I may collaborate with the YouTuber on the way. So there was this, there was a couple of YouTubers I live in Texas. We will see how that goes because that could help my channel, especially if I collaborate with somebody that has like more subscribers than I do, more views than I do. If I collaborate with that person, if they see that if they like see them in my video, they might want to check it out, or they see me in their video. They might be like, who is Kent Peter Money Talk? I want to get, let's, who is this person? They click on there, and guess what? Somebody, a lot of them will binge watch my videos. And then they'll be like, you know what? Kent Peter Money Talk, I kind of like his channel. I don't see why he don't have more subscribers. Then, next thing I know, I might end up having like 5,000 subscribers, <laughs> which I would not be complaining if I had 5,000 subscribers. So hopefully this is the year I get monetized on my channel. And of course, my goal, just like everybody else's goal, is to bring my credit card debt down, which I've been pretty good with lately. I bought most of my credit cards down to zero, pretty much. <laughs> of course, I used Tire Plus credit card again. That put some money back on there. But you know how cars are. My car is pretty old. <laughs> it's pretty. It's about time to get my car boot. But I'm just putting that to the side. I mean, my car still works. It still starts up. It still drives, so I can't really complain. I mean, I had a truck. I would have a lot of problems with that one. It was like an S10 pickup truck, but that. Truck had like 200,000 miles. <laughs> so I can't really complain. My car held up pretty good. I had since like 2008. And now it's what? So two months from now, that'll be like what? Because I got in like February of 2008. So two months from now. Will be what? 15 years? Is that? 15 years? <laughs> I'm going to be having that car for like 15 years now. I mean, that's a long time. So, let me know. Have any of y'all ever kept your car for like 15 years? I would like to know that. So, at some point, I will get a new car. I don't know if it's going to be this year, though. My main goal is to bring my depth down. So that I could be qualified to get a home. So that's pretty much the main reason I'm trying to bring my credit card debt down. Because there's one credit card I have. They was charge me like $190 every single month. So I want to bring it down to a, it's at least in the two digits at least. Then I'll probably stop and go to like the lowest credit card. Start paying that one off. Then go back and start paying this one off. So that's how I'm doing that. It's one of Kent Peters that matches to paying off credit card debts. I mean, it's not really mine. My dad, it was actually somebody else's, but I just adopted that method. <laughs> so you can still call it the Kent Peters method for paying off credit cards. I pretty much pay off the lowest credit cards first. Then I go to like the next highest. That's what you would call what the snowfall fat. But then if I was if you was like gonna pay like the highest first, then what do you call that? The avalanche fat? <laughs> it's one of those. So that's pretty much my plans for 2023. It's pretty much try to monetize this channel. 
And for my Rice Clutch channel, just keep spreading the word of God. And whenever somebody has like a towel they want me to go over, I mean, I'll try my best to answer it. <laughs> my third video, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. I'm thinking about just giving the boot. And of course, my writings. I mean, writing's my passion. I'm going to stick to that one. And of course, I'm thinking I might try how it's flipping. I may try it. We will see. But anyway, you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And let me if you have like any plans for the New Year's, let me know what are your plans for the New Year's. It don't have to be anything big. It could just be going to the gym more. Working out more. Maybe you want to learn a new language. But anyway, happy new year. Bye for now.